<clears throat> hey everyone, it's Jaden back with another freaking video. Guys, so this is the plan. Today is Wednesday, June 10th. Yes, this is a bra, but it's kind of like a crop top bra, whatever. It's skims, and I just took a cute Instagram picture, so I wanted to wear it. But hey, guys, it's been so long, and I just feel so weird filming right now. But quick little update on my health. Fluid in my ears went away, so vertigo is not the cause of what's kind of happening with me currently. So yesterday I went and got my blood drawn, I did an EKG, and I checked my blood pressure, and so far the EKG and the blood pressure are fine, so I'm hoping that something pops up in the blood tests saying, you know, maybe my iron's low or something. So, um, yeah, I'm still kind of struggling with that. Um, it's not nearly as bad. Today I was able to wake up, do my makeup, shoot some content, shoot a video. So I'm doing better than I have before. I've been meaning to do this video for about two weeks now, okay? But I just didn't feel good enough. I didn't do my makeup. And I wanted to look really good in the video, first of all, because... Hi, Elsa. You want to come up? Because, first of all, the glow up is real. Say hi to everyone. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. You jumped up here. All right. So it's been a year since I got my heart broken in probably the worst way I feel like I've ever had it broken in my life. And I'm not really sure what kind of feedback I'm going to get on this video just because, you know, I'm looking in the past, you know, that people might say I'm not moving on and blah, blah, blah. The point of this video is to show you guys my growth over the past year, how far I've come. I'm not mad about it. At the beginning of all of that, I was was very confused. I didn't feel good enough. I felt like, you know, I had finally been given something good. I finally found my person. And realistically, like, the more I look back at the relationship, I started to change. I started to become the town that I was living in. I started to become someone that I wasn't. It took me getting my heart ripped out of my chest to realize that person wasn't meant for me. That situation wasn't meant for me. It was made for me to grow. That whole part of my life escalated me into who I really am. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I didn't really know exactly where I was going to go with this video, but I just kind of wanted to talk about specifically, you know, how I dealt with it, what I did exactly to move on. I want to start off by saying that I'm grateful for the experience and I'm grateful for the blessing in that lesson, how it's molded me into who I am today. So I guess the first thing is... How did I get over it? It took me a long time to like accept the fact that I wasn't going to get that person back because at first I really was like, you know, I want him, I want him, I'm going to do everything I can to get him. But the more that I was shut down and shut out, I just started to ask myself, what the hell are you chasing this boy for? This boy. B-O-Y. This boy. So in April, I turned 21. It's been a crazy, 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 crazy past few months, I guess. 2020 in itself has been so like awakening for everyone. We're going through a global pandemic, a racial pandemic. We're fighting so many things currently and I'm so glad that I went through what I did because it's allowed me to just be so consciously aware of what's going on and my actions and my choices and who I hang out with. So in order to really get over that person, I just, I asked myself, do you want to be miserable forever? Do you want to keep trying to get someone back who does not love you? There is someone for me. That's what I kept telling myself. There is someone for me who's going to want me more than anyone. They're going to fight for me. It's crazy that I'm even telling you guys this. A few months ago, I met this guy. Truly, I pushed him away like no tomorrow. If you guys ever meet him or if you ever see him or, you know, if I ever bring him to my channel, which I probably won't might be in things here and there he fought for me when I look back at the relationship that I was in and what I allowed myself to deal with it's nothing compared to this you took me a while to accept the fact that I could be loved again I feel like that's why I pushed him away because I thought I wasn't good enough to be loved I truly did not think that anyone was gonna be able to love me but I realized that I was so in love with myself it was easy to fall in love when I just allowed myself to so truly I am in a relationship I am really really happy I'm not gonna share much about it but I just want you guys to know there is a light at the end of the tunnel and what got me through all of that you know all of those months those 12 long ass months I want to say the first six months were like unbearable truly that's when I was crying still trying to talk to him you know still trying to be involved in their life in some way it wasn't healthy for me to be holding on to something that wasn't for me and it took a while for me to realize that definitely but once I got over it once I stopped crying about it once I stopped feeling bad for myself my life began to shift in ways 
I had no idea it could. I What was made for me has, has yet to come. It came, and my life is still continuing to evolve. I'm only 21 years old, and I have a whole life to live with people who love me, and I, I, I'm very picky with the people that I allow myself to hang out with, just because I, I don't want to even allow the slightest bit of someone to come in and ruin that, ruin my happiness that I created. I pulled myself out of that hole. I talked to myself. I made my videos. I had advice from people, yes, but deep down I was the one who wanted the change, so I I was the change that I wanted to see. Yeah, it was hard. Yeah, it took forever. But this video is to prove to you guys and to show you that it does get better. But you have to want it for yourself. Whether it's a relationship or your family, or your job, or just your life in general, nothing will change unless you start to do things to change your life. Yes, we are not in control. I am a full believer in God. I believe that he has these things happen to us for a reason and he's the one who decides. It also is within. It's, it's in your heart. It's figuring out what you want in life and going and getting it and I wanted to be happy I wanted to forget the past which I did learn that I'm never going to forget what happened to me I'm never I'm always gonna have that like that thing in my mind that was like damn you were really sad but like I can watch these videos of me crying now and feel fine I don't miss him I don't miss our relationship at all I am working on getting healthy physically my mental health I feel like is eh but I feel like that's a lot of people right now because of so much going on in the world that like I feel like I can't fix. When I can't fix something, I feel like ass. The growth is tremendous. You know, I look at myself from a whole different point of view. When all of that was happening, you know, these past 12 months, I tried to like take myself out of the situation and look in on it. What would I tell a friend, you know? What I would tell those friends, I was telling myself and I had like a handful of people who would talk to me and give me advice. But like I said, if I didn't want to change, I wouldn't be happy. I would still be miserable trying to talk to him and just being around toxic people and I refuse. Like I hang out with little to no one. I have like a small, small group of friends and that's it. A lot of people mistake like having friends as like, yeah, I'm loved, oh, I'm this, I'm that. You don't have to have a million friends to be loved. If you love yourself, it doesn't matter who loves you at all. But if you don't love yourself, no one can love you. It's impossible for anyone to love you if you don't even have the slightest bit of love for yourself. My situation it might be different than a lot of y'all's situations and I was only 20 years old, 19, 20 years old when I was going through all of this and just I'm so grateful that I can sit here and talk to you guys about it and like tell you and show you. You just have to keep pushing, keep moving forward. It's important to reflect on your past and like, you know, think about how it's transformed you into the person you are today. But if you keep looking back and wishing and missing something, that's not going to help you move forward. That's just going to keep dragging you down and dragging you down. And that's not what I want for any of you guys. What I want for you guys is to truly dig deep into who you are as a human being, as a person, as an individual. Look yourself in the mirror and think to yourself, who am I? What do I like to do? So one of the things that I did, I just remembered this, when I was going through it and I still lived in that town, I was working a lot to keep myself distracted. Elsa, hey. I was trying to keep myself distracted because I worked all the time and it really did help surrounding myself with the girls that I worked with because they were so uplifting and real power, right? <laughs> Elsa, why are you being like that? I made a list and this list was everything that I wanted in my life. I wish I still had it. I saw it the other day actually. It was like everything. It was, you know, I want to write a book. I want to start my clothing line. I want to do A, B, and C. Like there was so, like my list was top to bottom of things that I wanted. And in that relationship, I wasn't doing any of those things. And I feel like in my current relationship now, that took me a while to accept and to really believe in and, and feel the love that was being poured in my direction. I do all of those things. Like I, every day I wake up thinking, okay, how can I better myself? That way I can also spread that positivity and love with my significant other. Our relationship is extremely mature. I'm very open and honest and I was very open and honest from the beginning. I told him I don't want a boyfriend. I don't want to be with anyone. That's what I said for weeks and weeks and weeks. He was like, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. He told me like, Jaden, I'm sorry. I feel like I've been overstepping, but I wish nothing but the best for you. And I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. 
And once that happened, I realized I didn't want him to get away. Days go on and we see each other and we hang out. My heart has opened back up and I feel like it was so closed and so damaged. And yeah, I still have my issues and things that I have to work on, but I'm happy. Like I truly am just so grateful, you know, of that heartbreak. And I feel like getting to that point is where we all need to try and be. And there's other things in my life that I am working on, you know, relationships with certain people, um, family, but taking that step, that leap of faith into something new. Don't block your blessings because you feel like you're not good enough. If you weren't good enough, it wouldn't be sitting right in front of you. It wouldn't be like here, here you go guys. Like I'm spreading all of my love <laughs> to you and my confidence and my self-worth like i feel like i'm preaching right now but i'm so glad i did this video because it's important that people talk about especially right now the racial discrimination that's been occurring for years and years and years literally our entire lifetime we as americans have gotten sick and tired of the discrimination against african americans and people of color and they had enough so guess what we're gonna be the change that we wanna see. We're going to protest and do things in order to see a change. America is changing right now, so why don't you? Be positive, be a light in the world because there's so much darkness that we can't change. So if you're watching this and you have been waiting for something to tell you to go for it, go on that date, get that job, whatever it is, do it. Get off the couch, get out of your bed. Coronavirus is still out there, but social distancing and being sanitary is important. Important. Go outside, do something new, learn what you love, and I promise you, your heartbreak in whatever sense, whether it's like I said, the relationship, your job, your family, it will heal. You just have to want it to heal. You'll see the growth. So if you guys want to check out the videos of me a year ago exactly, I'm gonna try and put like a little subtitle here or I'm gonna put them at the end of the video and link them down below as well. If you watch that and then you watch this now, you're gonna be like, dang, like I just look better, I look healthier even though I'm actually kinda sick. My heart is healthy, my heart is happy and that's the most important thing. That's what I want you guys to take from this is that you can do it I did it you can do it I promise you so if you have any other questions something I didn't talk about I might do a part two to this and actually answer some questions I hope you guys enjoyed I'm so glad to be back I'm hoping that I can stay consistent with posting but no promises because I still have to get my blood test back and I'm in school and I'm running a couple businesses thank you guys for your support I truly do love you and I appreciate everything I know it's been a really long time but thank you for being so loyal new followers hello also I'd love for you to subscribe and join the family I'm trying to get to 200k you can do it you have the power to change your life and so take that step. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on my post notifications. Head over to my Instagram. I love you and stay fabulous.